Cars.com Auto Review. Hi, I'm Kelsey Mays for Cars.com. With me, the 2010 GMC Terrain. This is a new vehicle for GMC. We covered it earlier this year at the New York Auto Show, and if you saw that video, you'll know that it's basically a twin to the redesigned Chevy Equinox, which I've now been reminded is pronounced Equinox, not Equinox, by my colleagues and readers. Sorry, I'm really working on this whole emphasis thing. No matter how you pronounce the Terrain's Chevy Twin, though, I really think you're gonna find it a better choice than this GMC. And either way, you're probably gonna find the four-cylinder a better option than the V6 model. I'll explain why. Now, General Motors says the Equinox and Terrain share very few body panels. I actually uh, think they should have shared more because the Equinox, pretty good looking SUV. The Terrain's got these blocky fenders. It's got a really busy front and tail. Uh, it seems kind of indecisively styled, like it didn't really have a cohesive theme to it. Better things going on inside. I have plenty of room to spread out, and these seats are reasonably comfortable. It's the driving aspects that have me concerned. We've driven both the four-cylinder and the V6 Equinox. The terrain, obviously mechanically identical. Our V6 test car uses hydraulic power steering, not the electric power steering the four-cylinder has. The difference is that it's a little bit harder to turn. It takes a little more effort to turn the wheel at low speeds, especially than in the four-cylinder. I'm also noticing that the accelerator pedal has a little bit more of a gradual take up to it. And there's a bit of accelerator lag that kind of manifests itself as you're pulling into traffic. Um, you hit the gas kind of moving up in speed. Sometimes it doesn't seem like the drivetrain really is showing up for the game. Same thing with the six speed automatic transmission. Not a big fan of this one in particular. It's a little bit laggy, takes a little bit long to sort of kick down. The four cylinder actually seems better tuned in general. It just seems more responsive. Um, and there's adequate power there. It's not like you know, you're really wanting more power. The V6 doesn't feel all that much more powerful in the end. Cargo setup, pretty good. There's a decent amount of room back here and multiple scuff plates here. You can easily throw in a few golf bags and not have to worry about scuffing up your bumpers, any of the paint back here. Um, you will want to think about gas mileage. The V6 does take a significant hit in mileage versus the four cylinder, especially if you're just sticking with front wheel drive. The V6 does tow more than twice as much as a four cylinder, so there is some reason to get that yet. But I think a lot of buyers are going to stick with a four cylinder, and I think a lot of other buyers are going to go with an Equinox instead of this. Honestly, I can't fault you for doing either one. For more car related news, go to cars.com or our blog, kickingtires.net.